Hey guys, it's Infamous, and today I'm going to be showing you how to edit files in Stranded Deep. I suppose some people would see this as cheating, but for those who want a bit of an advantage, then this will certainly help. Okay, what you're going to want to do first is to locate your Stranded Deep folder. So, go into your documents, uh, your fo um, what do you, what do you call it, your files. Um, go into your C drive, then whatever, whatever program files you installed Steam on it should be in. So I installed it in times 86 so it's in here. So you locate your Steam folder and then in there you go to Steam Apps and then you go to Common and then your Stranded Deep folder, here it is. And then Stranded Deep da Data. Um, <coughs> once you're in here just go through the data. Uh, go through into data and you will see a save file, uh, construction files, building files, crafting files, everything. Um, whatever you want to do with these is up to you. Uh, you can edit like the building combination so that you can build, I don't know, uh, <laughs> an axe with a stick or something like that. But today I'm going to be doing it with the save file. So what you're going to want to do is copy it and paste it onto your uh, desktop so that you have a backup copy of it, just in case it all goes to crap and you need to get your save file back. Um, and then you're going to want to find a handy online JSON editor, unless you have one installed on your computer. For this uh, tutorial, I'm going to be using jsoneditoronline.org. You can see if you search up, there's loads of them. So if that doesn't work, then you've got all these. Um, so I've already got mine open here, but what you're going to want to do is open from disk, choose file, and then get that save file in there. Or whatever file you're using. Uh, I'm just going to cancel it because I already have it in here. It will start off like this, but you can press this to make it more structured. Um, as you can see, there's different uh, parts of the code, which you can change to your liking. Uh, you can change the animals, you can change the items. There's lots of code here, so it takes quite a long while to scroll through to find what you want. But you can just do Control F, and then you can find whatever you want, like player. You have to be inside the command thing. So you do player, and then you can find all the things to play and then you can press enter to find the next one Okay. Um, if you scroll right to the bottom then you've got all your stats atmosphere, uh, player effects, you can change all the like uh, the effects of the player effects um, so uh, what I'm going to be doing is changing health so imagine your health is something like um, 100 point, uh, there should be like that then you're going to want to change all that out and replace it with 5000 and that should fill your health back up to full. You can do it of the rest of the stats like the food and the water. You can change the amount of time you uh, can breathe underwater, your body temperature, everything. You can remove effects like this, just uh, delete about that much I think? No, that much? Yeah. And then it will completely remove the effect, or you can just negate the effects of it by deleting the numbers like that after it. So delete that. Um, <coughs> yeah, so that's about it. You can just explore and have, have a little play around with this. Um, you can make animals fly and stuff like that. You can have loads of fun with it. Yeah, so once you've got all this done, you can save it to your disk by going up here and save it to your disk. And then replace the JSON file in here with the one that you just made and then when you go back on Stranded Deep you should have your new stats installed just make sure that you're not playing st you don't have Stranded Deep open at the time that you're uh, changing the files around otherwise it might not work and you might have to restart everything but yeah that's about all for today I hope you found this tutorial informative and if you did like it, then I'd be delighted if you dropped a like and even subscribed. It would make my day. Also, if you've got any questions or queries, then you could just leave them in the comments below. And I will answer them as soon as possible. Okay, that's all for me today. Bye.